Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Bingo. It's time for the weekly seed challenge stuff. This is the first five in a row bingo seed. Uh, it's seed 7900 and this is the card. The spawn point was deserty, savannery stuff, I think. Yeah. And the second one had a village, if I remember that right. I didn't see the village, but yeah. <laughs> Supposedly there is a village on the second seed, but not on this one. This one has just desert stuff. All right, let's look at our options here. Um, the top row, I don't like because we need spider stuff. Uh, second row, no, no, <laughs> no and no for sure. Uh, diamond cake and, and a pearl, I don't even have to look at anything else. Um, this is not, this is not terrible. I mean, three redstone can be tricky, but it shouldn't be. Um, and then it's just four iron, a flint, some clay, an ink sack, and a spruce sapling. So this, this looks like a solid option. Uh, this has the diamond, this has the saddle, this has the ender pearl, this has the cake. So no to the other columns and then diagonals. Um, not great. This one has gold and lapis and this one has the cookie and the spider eye. Um, I mean, with a really lucky uh, dungeon early, this is an option. I mean, technically one spider is enough for this to be an option. Um, but yeah, getting one spider early is not very likely. So we should we should focus on this instead. So you want a spruce sapling. It might actually be tricky to get because you're spawning in a desert, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out, I hope. So spruce sapling, flint, uh, clay, some stone. That should be fine because we have to dig down for redstone anyway. And the redstone itself. Yeah, this, this, is, this is viable, I think. We'll see. Maybe, I don't know. There's some iron right there, but it's not good iron. Any spruce trees close by? No, it's literally R. Oh yeah, the Mesa. Right, 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 I forgot about that. I don't know spruce trees within render distance here. Come on, game. Now I'm second guessing my choice. So if you have to travel um, a lot to get a spruce tree, then this is not going to be very fast. Is this the closest tree? No way, right? What am I doing? Starting off very poorly, is what I'm doing. Whatever. I don't think, that, yeah, yeah, this is not gonna be that fast. So I don't think this is gonna be very important how you start. Initially, it's gonna be about getting lucky with the, the iron and, and redstone probably. Unless there's some other option that I, that I don't see, which is possible but unlikely. Usually, at least my initial strategy is usually solid for these. <clears throat> but who knows? Occasionally, I've been known to make some poor decisions based on less than perfect data. <laughs> Basically, the, I, I hate mob drops. I hate eppers. So sometimes I avoid uh, going for those rows that have those things. All right, we need clay and ink sack. All these ink sacks are terrible. I mean, there are spruce trees over there, which is nice. Let's hope we can get both the clay and the ink sack on the way here. These ink sacks look much more obtainable, like this one. And there was clay right here. Easy to grab, amazing. So you got the clay and the ink sack. Now it's just flint, the sapling, and then we need to go on the ground. If you get some early iron, I would not be mad. Uh, yeah, I would not be mad. 
Nah, I'm not mad about this. Let's hope it's more than two. That's exactly two. <laughs> screw you, game. Just screw you. Ah, typical. Uh, yeah, we can't go on the ground here. Would like to. It looks like it goes down significantly. But we need the sapling first. 100%. Uh, so we make a quick boat. Because everyone knows that. I mean, it's not really red, it's more orange. But red, you know, red cars are faster. So red boats are faster too. It's just a scientific fact. And <laughs> let's go and grab the sapling while we also cook the clay. And uh, we'll be good. It'll all be great. Uh, we don't have enough stone to cook while we wait. Should we even wait? We probably shouldn't. If we could have one more iron here for a pick right away, I would be so happy. But no. Is there like a gravel patch that we could dig? No. I'm wondering... But I think we're gonna go back to that cave just because. Sweet. Don't need those anymore. Graver, yeah, that's something we need to worry about a little bit because sometimes graver is hard to find on the ground. So if you see some surface graver, you should try and get the flint right now. We also don't have any food, which is slightly risky. So much coal here. There's a bit of a graver patch here. Was it a flint? Yeah, sweet. So where's that big hole in the ground now? Where is it actually? Wasn't it right, right here? I can't find it anymore, no. I've lost it. This is not it, but there's iron right there. Uh, let's cook this. I don't need more than that. No, I, that's even already too much. Whatever. <laughs> Is it still worth it to double up? It's probably not worth it anymore. Because you also need three stone to like smelt. Which probably doesn't mean... Well, it's close. No, I think it's still okay. An okay investment. Uh, make a pick and then make the flint and steel and just in case <laughs> I'm getting something no it's just a redstone now right yeah okay then we go that hole in the ground I don't know where it is like that's I don't know how I lost it <laughs> it's like it was a big hole in the ground But yeah, I, I forgot where it was. <laughs> Cave, worth it? Uh, no, not worth it. I don't think this guy's tracking me, that creeper, but let's just make sure. Now we just have to get lucky here. It's very simple. Redstone is not rare, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if 11 is actually the best level for redstone. It might not be. But there's lava down here and I want to find that lake. But I can't, apparently. Also can't find any redstone. Oh well. We tried our very best. Maybe that horn in the ground would have been it. I think so. I have a really good feeling about that horn in the ground, but 
you know. What can you do? How, what am I? This is not how you craft this. Come on, drag. There you go. I mean, seven, 740, I'll take it. I want to see that hole in the ground again, though. Will this cave have been any good? Oh, the lava's above. That's why I couldn't find it. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, this cave would not have been good. So I'm, I'm glad I decided to not fight the skeleton. We've just been lots of mobs and nothing useful outside of that. How did I run so far past that horror? I looked... Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like right here, but it wasn't. And then I was confused. Okay. I see now how that happened. Still feel dumb because... Yeah, I should have I should have been able to find it again. Yeah, that would have been... Ah, uh, I mean, it would have been kind of annoying to deal with the lava. But yeah, there's lots of redstone here. So the hole in the ground was the way to go for sure. That's very messed up. But what can you do? Would there have been... Actually, we didn't have enough iron at that point. We only had two. Because that stupid vein. I mean, yeah, there's a resto. Yeah, yeah, this would have been fine. We just block in... Oh, even diamonds right here. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really good hole in the ground. It looks very good from up here. Because you could tell that it, like, it had cave here and here and potentially here of the caved in graver, so... Very good, very good hole in the ground. So I wasted some time with the digging because <laughs> I'm stupid and I... I guess I, I really thought I was way... like I, I, I thought I bought it from here and I would find the hole, but I guess I bought it from here instead. I thought I was going in a straight line. I don't know. That was my, like, my mistake entirely, obviously. Could have been maybe not a minute faster, but yeah, could have been much faster. Cause there's gravel here, there's everything here, yeah. Well, not a bad run. Um, pretty sure this was the best option, all things considered, and uh, we played it okay. Not great though. I'm not super happy with this. I need to pay attention more. And even just looking around more would have probably helped, because if I just turn around from where I dig the gravel, I'd probably see the hole there. I don't know. I don't know how I missed it. I'm, I'm like amazed at my ability to, to not see that. Uh, all right, 7904 is the second seed. This one spawns us in like a sprucey type, court type area, I believe. Um, and yeah, there's, there might be a village, which could be good. But let's just see first. So no, no. Uh, maybe if the village is there and good. Because the rest of this is potentially very easy. Uh, no, and no, uh, no. Mm, yeah, no, definitely no. Maybe, but very likely no. <laughs> I mean, it would have to be a chunk and a pumpkin. Then this this is pretty good. Uh, and then no, and then this is the end of pearl, and this is lapis. So our best bet is probably this, if if the village has beetroots, but if not, what do we do then? Okay, so if the village has beetroots, we go for this. If there are, is it, if there's a chunk and pumpkins, then we go for this. And if neither of those things are available to us, then what do we do? We need, like, we need a third plan here, and I don't know what it is. Maybe this. Even though I don't like it, it's uh, 14 iron, redstone, sugar, clay, and mushrooms. Which could be okay, but only if the mushrooms are easy enough. And even then, it's still a lot of iron that we need. But I don't see much else that could work. I mean, maybe this, but there's no desert that I know of. Let's just hope that the village has beetroots and go from there. <laughs> this might be a beard run or yeah, a beard seed for us. Uh, oh yeah, there is a village. There are beetroots, okay. Uh, so that's that. And there's also blacksmith, which could help us 
by giving us iron, I guess. And then there's a desert for the cactus green. Great, okay, yeah. Wait, I gotta turn around this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a quick sapling here. Game, do it. Just do it, game. Is there stone? I think there was a bit of stone like right behind me there. Like right here. Yeah, there was. I don't know if we need all the tools for this run. We do need a furnace for the iron and cactus, so at the very least we need that. And I think the pick is always worth it. I might be wrong. But I just hate I hate mining with a slow pick. And even this is still very slow, so you know. And I guess a shovel doesn't hurt. I definitely want an axe just because if we run into like a zombie I don't want to have to use whatever weird tactics in order to just not die you know Have you really not dropped the sapling yet guy game don't be don't be like that this is supposed to be the easy part of this Come on. Ah, screw you, game. <laughs> we have to do it now because I don't want to come back here. I want to finish in the desert, most likely. Is there like one iron we could grab right away? Doesn't look like it. There's a separate ring. Excellent. All right, let's grab our beetroots. Flint, clay, iron. Iron could be in the in the blacksmith building, which was somewhere on this side, I believe. And the beach was on this side. Let's just hope there are six of them, because I don't have any bone meal, obviously. Great. Potatoes, those are the beetroots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and really quickly, even though this is not really quick anymore, do this, do this, uh, boats. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't see any clay right here. That kind of sucks. How was I so far from the shore there? Come on, game. <laughs> That's a very close cactus. How did I not see that? <laughs> Almost impressive. Come on. Stupid skipping. Don't need that anymore? I don't think I do. Do need this furnace still. Uh, no clay. There's gravel down there. There's also clay down there, actually. The question is... That's not worth it, no. It has to be better clay. And better gravel. Because you can't dig fast down there. And the water does get a bit more shallow on this side. There was a grabber back here someplace. Not too hard to get to right here. Uh, it's a flint. And steel. Uh, not ideal. Uh, I'm not sure. The slowest part was probably the, the sapling, actually, comparatively speaking. Everything else is pretty good. I mean, everyone's going to do this. <laughs> and I'm never the fastest on those, so... 
but I'm still happy. I'm still happy with this. Like, I, I played all right, I think. Um, I wasted some time with that cactus because I, I don't know, I didn't see that huge cactus right next to me and I thought I had to go deeper into the desert to get one. Um, with the sapling early, I don't know. Maybe I should skip, should have skipped axe and shovel and just meet the, the furnace. Maybe I should just have not even made a pick. I'm not sure like what's the math on that. Uh, it probably isn't worth it really if I only mine eight cobber to mine three first, make a pick and then mine eight. That's, that's definitely not faster than mining eight with the wooden pick. But there was still a chance that I did, you know, I, there's no guarantee that I get the iron there and then I need a stone pick to mine iron anyway. And I was, you know, crafting table was set down and I was mining stone. So I, yeah, I, I stand by the pick, ax and shovel probably not worth it. But then again, I did dig a lot of gravel. Yeah, I needed the shovel too. I needed a shovel at least. A wooden shovel would have probably been fine too. I don't know. It's, it's really close. You'd have to do the math. Like how many, how many gravel blocks do I need to dig with a stone shovel for it to be worth it to craft the stone shovel? Assuming that it only takes the break time of one stone block extra to make the shovel on top of everything else I'm already making anyway. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. So I'm just, I don't know. I like faster tools always, but it's not always the best in terms of net time. But yeah, that was, that was a good week of oh, five in a row bingos. This was obviously very easy. Uh, first one, wasn't very hard either. Uh, I just made it hard on myself by missing <laughs> by missing that or not finding that hole in the ground again. That would have been very good. Um, I don't really know if I don't think like crop crop gro crop growth is always the same. It might be. Is it always exactly the same? I'm not sure. See, so there could I could have had an advantage over other people playing here. I'm not sure. Let me know. Brian, are you watching this? Tell me. Do you know? Is that always the same? Is it randomized somewhat? Is it? I don't know. Something that's something I've never really thought about, like the crop growth in villages, because I mean, some ground clutter is not the same. I'm not sure if if that's like per seed. Because you could, I've definitely seen villages where you didn't, where I couldn't get six um, beetroots, even though there were two like patches. And it was very easily possible in this one. Because then that could be something that, you know, someone else struggles with. If that's not always the same. But I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it is. It might be. It just feels like one of those things that could be different. Oh yeah, and you also got an apple from that chest. It wasn't really worth it to break that chest, probably. <laughs> but I don't know. Actually, I thought I could have the Epper's food in an emergency situation, but I guess we got the bread at least. All right, so that's it for the five in a row bingos this week. Let's carry this momentum into the point seed, um, and yeah, I'll see you with that soon. Bye-bye.